The unmistakable shape and sound of the Supermarine Spitfire, paying a fitting tribute to a man who, in June 1944, had flown just such a machine over the beaches of Normandy as the Allies battled to establish a foothold on Nazi-occupied France. Flight Lieutenant Henry Smith, known as Lacey, was a 27-year-old Australian from Sydney, killed as he flew a sortie in support of ground forces five days after D-Day. 67 years after his death, members of his family were amongst those who gathered at the Commonwealth War Graves Cemetery at Ronville in Normandy to finally say goodbye. That evening, Flight Lieutenant Smith led a section of three aircraft from 453 Squadron on a patrol of the beach areas in the vicinity of Istrium. When flying off to Murray, the pilot of the third aircraft observed an anti-air strike on Flight Lieutenant Smith's aircraft. Flight Lieutenant Smith began to lose height and called on his radio words to the effect that I'm going to put this thing down in a field. But Smith was unable to prevent his aircraft from landing upside down in one of the many rivers in the area. Unable to free himself, Smith drowned. But late last year the Spitfire was located and recovered from the River Orne after a French couple spotted something sticking out of the water at low tide. The plane, which was remarkably well preserved, was removed from the mud and Smith remains carefully taken from the cockpit, ready for burial at the nearby Ronville War Cemetery. This was a moment never imagined by Flight Lieutenant Smith's relatives, who travelled thousands of miles to witness his burial. You know, to find the plane was just incredible for us, of course. It was such a surprise after 67 years, we thought we'd always um, never know what happened to him. And now that we've got the plane, we've been able to know what, exactly what happened to him. Now we have a place that we can visit and, you know, and think about Lacey. And it means so much to us to actually have a place to come to. I'm just so emotional. It's closure, it's, it's brought our family closer. Yeah, I mean, we've travelled a long way to be here and all our cousins and everything together. Hmm, it's been great. Evidence of the bloody summer of 1944 greets all visitors to Ronville War Cemetery. Henry Lacey Smith joins almost 2,500 others who now lie here, having paid the price of war with their lives. The number of airborne troops in this cemetery is conspicuously high, many killed during the 6th Airborne Division's attempts to secure strategically important bridges. And this was the Allies' objective. Pegasus Bridge now sits as part of a museum a few hundred metres from its original location spanning the nearby canal. But in June 1944, capturing this was key to the Allied strategy of securing a bridgehead in Normandy from which to break out. The fighting around Pegasus Bridge, as the Bonneville Bridge later became known, was fierce. Those on the ground were aided greatly by those in the air, men like Henry Lacey Smith. Flight Lieutenant Smith made the ultimate sacrifice for Australia during World War II, and I am thankful and proud that he has now been afforded the military burial and honours that he so richly deserves. But while Flight Lieutenant Henry Lacey Smith is now finally at rest in a Commonwealth War Cemetery, his story will not end here. The Australian Government plans to ship his Spitfire back to the Royal Australian Air Force Museum at Point Cook near Melbourne, ensuring his memory will live long in his homeland.